Hello everyone. In previous video, we started to create a hotel management system using Visual Studio. Now I'm going to continue that project. We only design our login page. Now we have to configure click events for login button and database. Let's go ahead and start. Here I need uh, my solution explorer. Let's go ahead and click view solution explorer. And then if I hover into this form one dot cs I can open my design. All right, here is our design. Now I'm going to add functionality to this button. We can double click this button, then it will create it will create the click event for that button. Okay, now button one underscore click. Now what is this beat button one BTN one? Here, if you go back to your design and right click on this button and go to properties you will see that button identifier you had to scroll here we found it can you see this button one this is the identifier that automatically assign it into this button. We can change this identifier, but in this case, we don't have to reuse this button. We only have to click the button. Now, uh, first thing, we need to check whether user have entered username and password for that we have to config this text field identifier how we can do that go to properties of that text box and then here name text box one we can change that to text box Oops, uh, text box username and then press enter it will automatically assign into your text box now now go to password text box and then add the identifier in this uh, design section you can add this name I will say text box password now press enter go back to your code all right now uh, I need to create some variables for that uh, let me see this I can zoom in this code or not oops that's bad I don't like this magnifier. Oh my god. Okay. Go away. I don't like it. All right. Now uh, I will see this by my computer. Okay. Now it has zoomed. Here I will say 
string username is equals to username text box text box username that we have assigned in our design as the identity of, uh, of username text field and then we can receive the text by saying dot text t letter should be capital text okay now we can uh, say to a string I think we should provide parentheses all right now we can go ahead and create the variable for password I will say this is equals to text box password dot text dot to a string why I cannot see my okay I cannot see my mouse then I have to use keyboard now we have declared two variables we are going to create if a statement to check whether these fields are empty or not I will say if and then parenthesis inside parenthesis we can say uh, username is let me check whether there are uh, built-in functions to check whether a string is empty or not uh, I think uh, we have to use the string class then it will provide the option for check if strings are empty or not a string should be capital dot is null or empty okay now inside uh, that we have to create also parentheses for this uh, property in this string class here we have to pass in the variable in this case username now this will return true if this variable is null or empty then that is not the case we have to also check the password if password is empty and if username is not empty we should also show error message if both of these variables are empty we also have to show that error message for that we have to use or gate uh, here to say or get we have to use these two pipes symbols you have to use two pipe symbols and uh, I will check this after running now I'm also going to say string dot is now or empty 
inside parentheses I will pass in password now add braces uh, better to show some dialog box uh, let me check whether what is the option available message box I will say that variable name as message box is equals to new uh, message box actually I'm doing this after uh, many years I think three years that's I I forgot everything I'm sorry for the noises which coming I think uh, that is not how to create the message box I will say in Google I will search for that let's see dialog box uh, visual C sharp we had to use this dialog result I will just remove this message box code dialog result is and I will say dialog result is equals to message box dot show and here we had to pass in the message and then after this second parameter is the title for that message here and then the click events for that dialog box here we can uh, say message box buttons okay instead of okay cancel there are no need to use cancel option okay let's go ahead and do the first I really hate these Windows computers. Now, the message no empty fields allowed, and then the title for that dialog box inside double quotation service say. Uh, uh, let's say you cannot continue like that and then the last one I will say message box buttons dot ok message box buttons dot ok now here we don't have to add additional functionality to determine whether user have selected OK or cancel in dialog result because we only have declared OK button. Now uh, if these things one of variable is empty this dialog result should come let's go ahead and see
uh, we have error somewhere I think there should be some uh, miss of semicolon I'm correct in shisha we have to use semicolon in end of the line to say compiler this is the end of particular line Okay, I'm going to just try to log in. You cannot continue, no empty fields allowed. If I enter something here, but if I keep password as empty, it's still no empty field allowed. Here, if we type something, you can see it has converted into stars and it will be hidden from the interface, but it will not replace the variable as star whatever you type in the design it will show star symbol because we have config the parsed car in the properties of that particular text box all right the next thing in the else statement we are going to log in user we can say s here instead uh, saying just login we have to create a database and store some uh, username and password there okay now how we can create the database you have to make sure you have configured the server SQL server now in this case uh, we can directly use this option otherwise let's say SQL here I don't have that to see uh okay we can use this site here go to the server explorer this is azure that means that's a kind of cloud thing cloud database in this database connections you can click on this connect to database button then mysql for visual studio configuration update required mysql we don't need to use mysql in this case but we need to use sql server uh, for that we can select mysql server uh, If we select Microsoft SQL Server database file, use this selections to attach a database file to local MySQL server instance, including MySQL Express using .NET framework data provider for SQL Server. If I select this option, use this selections to con connect to Microsoft SQL Server 2005 or above to Microsoft SQL Azure using .NET this is my SQL server database file we can select that I will show you how to go to there again here in this database connection in save explorer click this connect to database and here you will see this my SQL server database file select that and then data provider will be this one I will click continue now what I am really trying this something I forgot then uh, if some error occurred I will try again now uh, 
this window will allow us to create the database with the existing name that means existing name means if there are already a, a database available you can browse here otherwise we can create a new one I will say uh, what is this project is hotel let's say something like hotel db uh, hotel database use windows authentication or SQL server authentication we don't have to select these uh, I will say test connection ah specified database is not existing so we have to create that to create I guess I will try some options here if I press ok now it will ask us to create the database it will create the uh, database inside of OneDrive folder I don't have to create that database in OneDrive folder instead I can navigate into another folder like uh, documents folder here and then click open then it will create the database after we press on this okay button would you like to create it in this still here we have selected one drive I don't want to use one drive I will uh, go to some path here in this new folder e then let's create some folder databases inside this I will uh, click open now let's create that inside our e databases folder hotel database and the type will be dot mdf okay now i will say yes this might work or not okay our database has been created now uh, the next thing that you have to do is just right click on this database if you don't know how to see the save explorer go to this uh, view and then now I can see a different kind of thing I need self explorer ah that there is control or less here right click on this go to properties now uh, the next thing that you have to do is just copy this connection string you have to select all 
by pressing uh, control and a and then copy that here in the top we can create a reference otherwise we can create a, uh, a string I will say inside this public class private is string connection underscore string is equals to this one but uh, we have to do some changes to that how we can do that changes here I will add at and then uh, double quotations inside double quotations we can pass in this also here end of that we can say double quotations now the next change I hope that's fine now and then semicolon all right now uh, that is fine now this uh, video came uh, so long in the next video we are going to see how to connect with this database programmatically and then we will see whether it is working or not and after we will create record table for our login page all right thank you very much